So welcome to 2023, question B2 of the mock exams. We've got a perspective question of an outdoor home office. Okay, that we're going to show on perspective. Okay, so this is a short little part here on what the question actually looks like that we're doing. And um, there's the 3D model. All the points will be joined in plan from or from in plan from the object to the spectator where the pierce the object provides points on the perspective image that are on the picture plane the vanishing points are on the horizon lines okay the true height or the line that's on the picture plane in plan goes from the ground line here the auxiliary the construction for the auxiliary vanishing point there that will show and this second detail out here perspective image is to show how the perspective image is rotated onto the horizontal plane because all your perspective image projects as an edge view and plan which you can't see it so we rotate it okay down onto the horizontal plane and that's what these lines that are okay well they look like arcs or sorry the planes there contain lines or arcs they're, they look like lines in plan that are perpendicular to the picture plane but they're really arcs and they represent the points on the image being folded onto the horizontal plane now we're going to draw the plan elevation so it's 100 by 70 it's angled at 20 degrees to the xy line okay and that's angled at 70 degrees that side we've marked the midpoints so I'm um, using the adjustable side of the set square. The top one is at 20 degrees. The left hand side is at uh, 70 degrees to make right angles. Now we can mark in our hidden detail. So that's a quarter of the rectangle there that's in hidden detail. And then here we've got the spectator 60 degrees from point A. So we're going down at 60 degrees. And we're marking 80 millimeters from the spectator okay don't forget the scale of 1 is to 50 so convert all the dimensions on the sheet into millimeters and divide a by 50. now i've drawn two lines parallel to the spectator they're going to help me find my vanishing points i'm going to join the outermost corners i'm going to bisect the angle there I'm going to draw in my line through the spectator. Okay, I'm going to change my adjustable set square. And then I'm going to go perpendicular to the bisector. There's my picture plane. Then I'm going to label my picture plane. going to draw my horizon line parallel to the picture plane any distance after s i'm going to draw a perpendicular line down there i'm going to mark the distance of my ground line down okay so 2.25 meters is going to work out as 45 i think go down perpendicular from where uh, the two outermost corners and the vanishing points and go so there are the vanishing points on the horizon line I'm going to bring that down join that back to the vanishing point the vanishing point here on the left this is the base of the object now I'm going to join all the corners to the spectator and plan. You don't have to do them all. This is just a simple way to gain marks by doing them, doing them all there. You'll gain marks. Now, where they hit the picture plane, we're going to bring them down perpendicular to the spectator or down to the perspective image. So true, four meters is the true height. So 80 millimeters, I can mark that along point A because it's on the picture plane. And then the height then uh, just below it. So I can join that out to the side there, and that one there. 
so this is going to be the top edge of the roof so you can heavy that in heavy that in there heavy that in and now there's the inside there going back to VP2 and the inside going back to VP1 and there's the inside of the wall they just match up all at the same point as they should and now to be able to complete the question when shortly we're going to need to find and the auxiliary vanishing point so sloping at 15 degrees to the horizontal plane so that's the direction out to the right the vanishing point two is where the auxiliary vanishing point we need to use so we'll mark 15 degrees draw our line out go perpendicular to line s to vp2 from vp2 and um, that's the true height there so we're going to take that true height from the vanishing point using our compass here now so I'm going to get my compass put it up there to that distance step it okay below the vanishing point now I'm going to continue the line down and join that back up to the roof so there I'll be fin finishing this this drawing anyways by hand so you can see it being joined so back up to the roof and work yes, yes and also yes, yes, voice yes, over yes, yes, to yes, explain yes, yes, what's happening he's one of the it's younger the teachers there, there oh, yeah, 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 by hand face <laughs> Jeez, I feel like I'm getting old uh, me, me, me learn a lot of uh, distan then, distance uh, learning uh, I can join that back to the inside yeah, corner there yeah 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 that was a difficult time but yeah, yeah it's difficult but, but students are yes you know, the young students it's, it's and you cannot uh, use uh, yeah, I know, five six and move know, back know, together yeah. and they want, just want to be with their friends yes, yeah. and talking here maybe doing a little bit of work as well and I'm noticing I made a little mistake here I brought uh, uh, I fix it now in a moment I think brought a broad yeah, the come over as well. line yeah, just to the broad edge the wheels for the train so you'll see yeah. that, see that. I'll machine. cop that in a moment there what I've done wrong there it's not easy to, to make them. it's a 50 millimeter diameter yeah. our machine the spindle is only 20 millimeters oh. so a spindle is 60 yeah so we would have to make part them individually and mount them on a spindle and, and so I asked Vegar, I saw that he had some spare wheels in when we were in Lithuania and I didn't take them because I had so much just stuff. brought one just I a little him. bit too far now that's that I'll fixed a box of maybe 150 <laughs> <laughs> perfect can you post me for yeah. thank you no problem <laughs> beautiful corporations so, yeah yeah so uh, we're not going sorry, to sorry, the question we have to get say. the true uh, height of the inside push, there uh, and uh, only the true height can be applied along the line that's on the picture plane so I can extend this line so this out my guys are, are doing go down perpendicular to the picture plane because it's going to be a true height line on the picture plane so I'm going to extend the inside face outward until it hits that line There we go, and the true height. Okay, it's obvious that that's going to be on the ground line. Hmm. So your the true height is going to be the distance uh, between those two lines there. G is on the ground floor. M is in the ground M and T tops up. G M T. So G six. Uh, first period 
tomorrow uh, to an Irish class. They're doing a baron. You know the drum, Irish drum. Yes. I've seen that. Yes. 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 So they're doing a yes. session. Yes. A baron tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For period one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I will write it down. Okay. Yes. I can put it into the program and reprint it anyway. Ah, yeah. not necessary. Yeah. Uh, will be 3.05 uh -huh. sorry it was 6 uh, they're coming every day every day <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. hey thank you bye bye